Send us your power, so that we may find the vessels and the lords of the land. May I ask what those might be? To explain fully, I shall need to tell you how this world we live in is structured. In the ancient times, the Seraphim and humans worked together in order to protect their land from the malevolence. The Seraphim and humans worked together? If the vessel they dwelled in was pure of heart and harbored no malevolence, those Seraphim with power would become lords of the land. And through worship by the people, they gained the ability to expand the area of the Blessed Domain, which repels the influence of the malevolence. The sanctuaries were built to honor the lords of the land and keep the area around the sanctuary safe from malevolence. However, the sanctuary in this town has neither a lord of the land nor a vessel, let alone anyone who will properly pray to them. Is that why there's so much bad stuff going down around here? Yes, even if the shepherd purifies the malevolence, it will be impossible to maintain the land's protection without the blessings of the lord of the land. I see. So you wanted to ask Alicia for help in finding a suitable vessel for the Lord of the Land? And should they be found, if those of the Sanctuary would properly worship them both, is that correct? Precisely. Any ideas? As for the Sanctuary, I'm afraid almost all of the pious ones in my country have lost their sense of gratitude towards the Seraphim. No way. However, there is a man named Brunor who has recently ascended to the priesthood. He is a good, sincere man who gave his time to help us prepare for the festival. Would he help? Yes, I believe so. Time is of the essence. I'll head for the sanctuary at once. Well, that was abrupt. But she's not wrong either. We must hurry. She's gone already. She's probably heading over to the sanctuary. She's quite the tomboy, that Alicia. That was abrupt. Well, see you, priest. Our mission is time to do it. <laughs> like Father Brunor is out around town on an errand. So it goes. Any clue as to the vessel at least? Let's see. Something free of malevolence. In the Galahad ruins north of here, there's a pure and clean waterfall. The kings of Highland traditionally bathe in its pristine holy water before their coronation ceremonies. Water of utmost purity. That does sound like something that could be a vessel for a seraph. Is something wrong? Beasts have taken up residence in the ruins of late. Whatever was there was strong enough to kill all ten soldiers who came to drive them out. Hellions? Likely. If we don't hurry, then the waterfall could be corrupted by the malevolence. I take it that's not all, is it? The malevolence is strong in Lady Lake. The holy water will absorb its influence before we have a chance to enshrine and worship it. Water in particular is delicate and easily corrupted by malevolence. No way. Is there anything we can do? Of course there is. But in that case, we will need the cooperation of a seraph of water. As a fire seraph, I'm afraid I am wholly mismatched. A water seraph, huh? Yes. <sighs> By the way, whatever became of Miklio? I haven't heard his voice yet. We... sort of... had a fight. It's a long story. Anyway, to the Galahad Ruins! There's Hellions to smack. That's true. Let's do what we can, first and foremost. Saray, please let me accompany you. I would, but you don't have the power to battle Hellions. But... Saray... 
Just as the Prime Lord can have sublords, so too can there be squires to the shepherd. If Alicia becomes your squire, she can fight against the Hallians as long as she is within your domain. My squire? But... This sanctuary... No, make that all of the sanctuaries in Highland. They have always been like this from the time I was born. A Highland overrun with malevolence is the only Highland I've ever known. Beg of you, Saray. Please, take me as your squire. So that I may see my homeland free of malevolence. Oh. Just like you'd always dreamed of. As you wish, Alicia. <laughs> so then, how does this work? After my incantation, give unto Alicia a true name in the ancient tongue. Let's see. A true name for Alicia. A new bud forms on the holy branch. Its flowers bring fruit. Its fruit begets seeds. The circle of destiny turns once more. Give life unto the will of the shepherd, and let it be proof of their bond. Thy true name as a squire shall be... Melphis Amechia! Happy to be your squire, Saray. Happy to have one, Alicia. What now? You see this new party, man. She has more health than me. I don't know how I feel about it. Really, the only. Thing. I feel like I'm fucking up some. Wait, it's time to go to... It's time to trust him. If I can. I think oh. 
Alright. Let's do this. What on earth? Here it comes, Alicia. Remain calm. Just Keep attack going. it like you would any other creature. Very good. It's easy. That's good. So, because he was saying you first. I'm gonna try So the world teems with these monsters called Hellions that cannot be seen by normal humans. And it is they who are the true scourge of the Age of Chaos. Yes, the havoc you see in the weather and people's emotions alike all stem from the influence of the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity creates malevolence in Hellions. And the Shepherd's role is to stop him from doing that. As is that of the Squire, correct? I already told Saray much the same, but this is something I want you to determine for yourself. What you want to do with the world, with the humans, with the malevolence. I'd like you to make your own decisions, based on your honest and forthright heart, rather than having them imposed on you by destiny. But is it acceptable to express myself that openly? I'm merely a squire. A squire is not a shepherd's subordinate, but one who provides help to him. There's no need to hold back. Yep, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Okay, then if something is on my mind, 
count on me to say it. How inspiring. Inspiring? But... Alicia, you kind of... Uh, graced me. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was in the moment. <laughs> That's not funny. Alright? Putting people in the moment. I'm just saying. Could have killed somebody. I finished preparing the gem. Psycho, bro. It's good. and stuff. Awesome. I get it now. It's more... It's like Tales of Braces. And that it's got a terrible tutorial. As well. Oh my god. Tales of Braces tutorial is the worst. It don't... It's not really a tutorial. It's just a bunch of pop up on the screen every once in a while. Tell you, hey, you can do this. Hey, you can do that. cool thing about Tales game only really adds they don't take any not unless it's creating a new fighting system they're trying to create a new that one thing that's another thing I like about Tales they try different stuff Open world tells of I'm still shocked at how clean it is. Oh. Ready everyone! Hey, you're 